I have to admit I do love wood ducks. This is one of the many pictures I have. This is in my family room. The male wood duck is on the right and the female is on the left. And if we pan to the right, I have a ceramic figurine of a female wood duck taking off. And if we pan a little bit more to the right, we're looking out my family room window out onto my pond area. And my wild Canadian gander just happens to be standing out there and hopefully there'll be wood ducks in the pond. And there are. These are the most brightly colored ducks in North America. The only duck that rivals them in color is the Asian Mandarin duck, and that's not native to our area, although you will find them in some ponds. These are also the only perching duck in North America, not only the most colorful, but also the only perching duck. Their little webbed feet actually can grip limbs and the female lays her eggs in trees up to 60 feet high in hollowed out cavities in old dead trees called snags or they'll find a woodpecker hole and use it to lay their eggs. When the eggs hatch, the <laughs> I have to interrupt what I was saying, the males are chasing each other, it's mating season and they're trying to show a little dominance here and get their female. I have watched the mate in the pond and it's over before it starts. It's like um, uh, a 10 second um, lovemaking session. But anyway, when the little babies are hatched and the mother kicks them out of the nest, they float to the ground literally like little cotton balls and it's a 60 foot drop sometimes and they don't get hurt because they're so light and they follow their mother to the nearest water source, normally a slow moving stream or a pond such as mine, and the mother um, gives them limited training. It's not like a goose and a gander where they spend months with the babies. The babies are pretty much on their own and not too many of them survive to adulthood because of predators. And just the walk from the nest to the water eliminates a lot of them. I have seen them swimming underwater. They do that. I think they're chasing my goldfish, fish of which I have quite a few in this pond, and they keep breeding and I keep getting little baby goldfish all the time. The male bobs his head back and forth. That's both a natural movement and also a mating movement. These are known as squealer ducks and acorn ducks. They let out a very loud squealing, almost like a screaming sound, when they're alarmed and they take flight. It's very hard to describe. They're also called woodies. They're very unique ducks. I had a little female wood duck for about four and a half years. She was a pet of mine and she was smart beyond anything I can even say. Had a personality that was unbelievable. This is Southern Oregon. We have them here and I'm so fortunate to be able to look out and see them.